In this video, I'm going to show you a simple example on how to do GET requests in React with Axios. We will be querying JSON placeholder, which is a fake a API useful for testing, just to get some data. GET requests are asynchronous, meaning they promise they'll get there, and they usually do. To handle this efficiently, we'll use async and await. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more content like this every week. Let's get into it. Okay, now I, I have uh, navigated to the folder uh, in which I want to create my project. So in here, just type npx create React app and then the name of our app which in this case will be uh, just get requests and hit enter. This will create our React project for us. Now that that is done, let's navigate into our newly created project. Like so, and you can see this by it saying master. Then, in that folder, I like to just drag my newly created project into the VS Code window. And then we got our entire project uh, imported here. So let's just remove the code we don't need and make sure that everything works correctly. So let's remove everything here. Just let the divs remain and then just create a h1 that says test like so control you can open the terminal in this window as well uh, the shortcut might be different for you but let me just do it here and then we'll say npm run start to start the development server and that should happen automatically and we see test. So everything works fine. One important dependency we need before we can begin is Axios. And we will use Axios to actually do the GET request. So we need to install that dependency. So go into your terminal here. Click Control c to quit uh, the development server. Just clear and say npm install Axios, hitting uh, caps lock there, Axios, like so. And that should install Axios in, on, uh, in our project. Yeah. So when that is done, we will just import it up here. Import, uh, say, say it like this, Axios without the quotes actually, Axios from Axios, just like that. And we can just remove the logo here because it won't need it. Okay, now we can actually create the code to do our get request. So above the return here, inside our app function, we can start creating the function that will get our data. So we'll just call this function get data and it will be an arrow function just like this and here we'll create a, a variable called data which would will uh, do the axios uh, get request like so and then we need to pass in an url to the place we actually we are actually going to query. So let's head over to JSON placeholder holder right here, and we'll just take this string to query that endpoint. So let's paste that in here, just like that. This is not enough actually to do the request because this function is not fired right now it's not called so we need a place for this function to, to, to get called every time 
we refresh the page. So to do that, we can create a React hook uh, called use effect to make that happen. So we'll just call, call use uh, effect. So like we don't need this. And we need to import use effect. from react like so and we don't need anything there in uh, the dependency array but inside here we need to call this function get data and this can actually be inside here as well so now this function will get called on every refresh of the page as soon as the page renders this function gets called and we're still missing something because this because we're using uh, uh, doing a get request this is an asynchronous operation so we need to make this asynchronous as well so we'll make this function async and we will put on await here to await the uh, result from the axios get requests from this JSON placeholder endpoint. So what we're missing right now is some kind of state uh, management for this data variable. So to uh, to fix this, we can use the uh, use state hook as well. So let's create the array here, and we'll just call this uh, fetched data and set fetch data for setting that variable or changing that var variable so this is the function that changes this variable new state like so and we'll just put an empty uh, array as the default state and we need to import this hook as well from react like so so in our get data function we need to set the new state somewhere so let's do that after we've done the query set fetch data and we'll just set it to data this local variable like so and now we can actually console log out the data from that query by console logging fetch data so this state variable Let's save that and take a look in the browser. Refresh, and let's see in the console. You need to wait two seconds here. Yeah, because I haven't started uh, the development server. Again. Start to start the development server. We can just that and let's inspect to the console and we're not getting anything right now yeah here it is as an object we see the data right here so we're inter interested in the title so we're about to display the title so we need to attach that to the jsx somehow so we'll do that next okay so there there's something uh, with our jsx we need to uh, be mindful of when we do uh, get requests, because sometimes the, the data hasn't uh, been received yet. So we're just uh, trying to display something that's not there yet. So let's just take a look at how that actually looks. So if we say fetch data here, try to access our title, uh, 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 title uh, uh, value, on that object, we would say um, data.title, like so. And we try to check that out in the browser. You see we're getting the error, can read property title of undefined. That's because we, we need an actual null check. So we need to check if this is null, then we'll not display anything. But if it's there, then we'll display something. So to do this, we'll do a ternary 
expression will say fetch data dot data and a question mark like an if statement if that is true then we will return this and if not then we'll return null or nothing so let's check that out see if we get an error still and now no errors because we're checking for uh, null and if it's not just display the data as normal so now react seems to be satisfied